What's up, Army? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. I'm Nick. Man, y'all seen the picture, y'all seen the thumbnail, y'all know exactly why y'all here. BTS spilling tea about each other non-stop. If this is your first time on the channel, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Become a real redeemer today. For more content like this, jump on the Patreon. We're doing part two on there today. Um, the Bomb Voyage Season 3 is up on there. Run BTS episodes, live performances. We did a, a tiny dust for V. Um, it's just a whole bunch of content on there, stuff that's blocked and other stuff that's like longer formatted. Um, but I seen one of these videos. I know you guys love these. I want to do more of them. So let's jump into this, man. Let's see what's up with the what's up. Shout out to Sugar Army. This page has been fire. Great at cooking. Who told him that? Fire. <laughs> I remember this is in the soup. <laughs> 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 Damn, I'm missing the suit. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's turning on each other? 
<laughs> JK funny as shit. Oh my god. I think I remember seeing this. That's crazy. He looks so innocent, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, well, it's paused, and Army, y'all can let me know. Um, did did Bang want to kind of have them not on certain variety shows because of things of this nature? As far as like uh like people, I guess like talking like this and everything like that. Like, you know, was this kind of like a thing that they were trying to avoid? Because I definitely, I can see both sides of it. I can see how, like, you know, this might be harmless talk to some people, but some people may not want them to have these kind of conversations. But, you know, I'm just wondering. No idea what's going on. <laughs> You? <laughs> y'all getting another hiatus so that I can think about another way to um torture y'all. <laughs> Speaking of subscribed, I mean, make sure y'all subscribed and also make sure y'all jump on the Patreon. It's going to be some more exclusive BTS content on there. Um, this was cute. Um, a few of these things I had like seen before and a couple of them, uh, well, more than a couple, like I haven't seen at all. Um, I've been trying to get myself uh, into watching more of this content, especially, you know what I mean, when I'm pretty much done all my work and I want to dive into more content. Now I have the opportunity to watch it with y'all. So, you know, I've been trying to get into more content like this and I've been loving it. Um, friend groups are always funny. Um, and I'm saying that in the sense of sometimes conversations y'all have amongst each other, you never know if it's appropriate to like kind of have those same conversations out in the public. Um, rule of thumb is with me, I try to keep as much stuff with my friends that we like our conversations as personal as I can, but you know, something that you think may not be harmless or may just be anything might, I don't want to say offend somebody else, but might have somebody like, yo, that was between me and you. Like, I didn't want you to tell anybody. So I like how a lot of these situations, people generally here probably didn't think they were doing anything like messy or like harmful. And you could just see people's facial expressions like, oh, shit, why would you say that out loud? Um, but we, we got a big saying here called, like, read the room. Meaning, like, you know, hopefully you should be able to kind of look at your homies and just kind of feel the vibes of everything and know what's cool and, like, what's not cool. Um, but, excuse me, with that being said, I don't think anything here was, like, blatantly disrespectful or out of pocket. I've heard crazy shit in friend groups. Some shit I can't even repeat. Um, so, you know, sometimes... I guess this is fine because all this seems like harmful energy, them just kind of having a good time, and them being so hype in the moment that they overshared. 
I've seen people be very malicious with um like the their intent with kind of like being a little messy or like spilling private conversations or just telling the world something that some people think that like you know the world shouldn't know. Um, but I like this. Like I said, at the end of the day, I know they all love each other. They all care about each other, and certain situations in your friend group or my friend group may be different because these are people who actually live together, work together, travel together. They're brothers, essentially. Um, like, you know, they spend more time with each other than they do with their family. So, you know, they have bonds and just stories and, and everything to last a lifetime. And sometimes when you're being very candid in interviews, um, it might come across as messy. But um, I thought this was super decent. Uh, I definitely want to check out more. Jimin being number one gossip girl is hilarious. So basically Jimin being a gossip girl and Namjoon being a victim. Jimin literally knows everyone's little tease. Yeah, Jimin definitely was at the end of kind of just knowing what was the tea with everybody. <laughs> you get him bothered unless it's about him. <laughs> Joan Cook in love with food and sees nothing else. J.K. was looking just like he'll be eating and shit, just like looking, just minding his business and shit. Yeah, Tay definitely looked like he was like just trying to hear the gossip and that was it. <laughs> Jim and spread the gossip. Nam June, the victim. Hobie, the one who acts out the gossip with his body. Jen, the one who laughs at everything. Now, that's real shit. He to see. <laughs> That shit funny as shit. JK is about to run up that food bill. Um, but nah, this was decent, man. Like I said, I I love getting into more content like this. Anybody who's been here since day one knows how I feel about BTS. I love all my guys. Um, and that's just outside of music. The music, some of my favorite music I've ever listened to. This is my favorite group of all time. Um, but just them as individuals, they're beautiful human beings. And anytime I get the opportunity to see them together, I'm going to take that opportunity. Uh, with that being said, it's going to be way more content coming that's BTS related. Um, we still got more B-sides. Um, I think, uh, well, I'm not even going to tell you about that. I'm going to wait to show you at the beginning of the next month. Um, but it's still going to be more content that's BTS related music wise that y'all got to see and a whole bunch of other stuff, um, conversations and things that we're going to be having that are open discussions, uh, more choreo battles for them, live performances and things of that nature. Bon Voyage season three has started and it's fire. Make sure you're going to Patreon. Some of y'all aren't even subscribed, man. That's, that's what's real crazy, man. Um, some of y'all been here for damn near two years and unsubscribed. Hit that subscribe button. Um, and like I said, on the Patreon, we about to go up with some more BTS content today. Um, other than that, we love y'all. We're going to holler at y'all army. Peace. And let me know what y'all favorite part of the video was. Let me know what was the best messy gossip stuff that they was talking about on here. And let me know if they missed anything. More videos like this coming. I love y'all. I hope y'all having a beautiful day. Thank y'all for being here. Y'all could have been anywhere in the world, but y'all was here with me. Mind you, when I'm by myself, I'm never by myself. I'm watching this with the Redeemers. Peace, hair grease. Let's get into this. Tay with the good hair. <laughs> it's funny because you.